Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you some notifications and settings in OneDrive. So we're now in office.com. We'll go to the nine dots and click OneDrive. Here we will see uh, my files, everything that is uh, privately uh, shared or shared with other people. Um, we have here uh, near the profile um, a gear icon of settings. We can click on it and we will see several things. We have here uh, the OneDrive settings, so we'll click it. And you see under notifications, actually we see all of these settings that by default are activated, but we can actually um, deactivate them. So the first one is reminders of missing or sharing emails. That means if you uh, shared a a document with somebody and when he opened it then actually uh, you will get some mail that he has read it. Uh, second one is email notification when OneDrive detects lots of files that were deleted at once. So this is also if you delete something from OneDrive on the web or if it's synced to the OneDrive uh, desktop actually you will also get some kind of a mail that says Maybe you deleted something uh, by mistake. You can always go to the uh, recycle bin and restore it. The third one is email notification on other reply on comments. So um, I think it's to do with uh, comments within the document. Um, next one is email notification when others comment on my document. Uh, next one is email notification when a link is shared and you send and it's clicked. And the last one uh, is about the request file. Each time um, a file is uploaded, then you will get uh, an email. So for instance, if you don't want uh, to get a mail each time, then somebody uploads a file in a, with the request file, you can shut it off. You can do this for all of those. Uh, functionalities. You, if you click here on more settings, you will see actually the settings of uh, the OneDrive. In some cases, you want to change the language settings. So if you can click here, it's just like in SharePoint. Uh, you can actually choose which language you want or, and uh, other things. Let's go back. Here we go. And um, this is the settings, just a second, more settings. Um, the regional, if you want to adjust the time. By the way, you have also storage metric to show you. So here I can and say, instead of saying the time zone is uh, US and Canada, I can change it to Europe. Uh, and uh, also the region I can change from United States to for instance uh, Germany or something like that. Um, also the days let's go back. Uh, what else? So here you can see actually how, how much uh, you're using site storage so it will say that in this document library which is actually the main one the recording uh, has uh, 90 two percent and it's storing 87. If we go drill down we can see specifically on we see this test meeting actually is 42 and others are different. So it's it's very similar to to what we have on the SharePoint uh, site actually a uh, OneDrive is a SharePoint site. Uh, let's go back and also see other things. So the last thing I want to show you is actually we have here the possibility to restore your OneDrive. So just like in SharePoint on the document library, you can say uh, how long ago do I want to restore. So let's say I want to restore uh, three weeks ago and I can see what was changed and actually I can uh, move it and see if it's from 0 to 29 and see actually how many days and what was affected. I can also mark some of them 
and some not and actually I can just uh, click the restore and it will bring it back. Actually you can also do it through the recycle ban bin and restore. Here it actually takes it by date. So um, that's actually the, the tip I wanted to show you. If you like, subscribe and uh, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.